Now, how to master these 16 concepts? Let's see the next uh, aspect in our Vedic math and that's called the end numbers. Now, what are end numbers? Okay, now look at this example. How much is 7 plus 5? How much you get 7 plus 5? You get 12, right? But don't write completed 12. Just think of 2 only. See, 12 ending in 2, right? Yes, that's called the end number. Take an example like 8 plus 6, how much? You get 14, right? Think only 4. Don't think 14 directly, okay? So 8 and 6 ends in 4. Now mostly uh, the use of the end numbers is to break the bad habit of counting the fingers. When you were a small kid, like in your PP1 or PP2 or pre-primary classes or primary classes, how they taught you to add the numbers? They have shown it through like counting the fingers. Like when you were in your PP1 or PP2, where they were a small problem like how much is 5 plus 4, okay? What they did first, they give a simple technique like put 5 in the mind, put 4 on the fingers. So after 5, they count linearly 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So that's the way how they have thought adding the numbers. But uh, in our Vedic math, we don't apply any finger counting method. We apply some lateral thinking methods, you know. So that's why these end numbers. So your idea is, you know, in this particular end numbers is to think of the end numbers without counting fingers. Now, they are only 16 combinations, mind you. They are not some hundreds of combinations, right? These 16 combinations only we need to master, okay? So, as you keep on doing the exercise, maybe some uh, you do some uh, each set of 30 and you do 4 or 5 sets, you are done. You will master the end numbers, okay? So, as of now, you just work on the end numbers, okay? Here it is, a few examples. 6 plus 8, you get 14, so write only 4. 9 plus 7, you get 16, so write only 6. Now, there's a trick with 9. Now, you see that there are many combinations with 9. There are almost 8 combinations with 9, right? So, don't worry. 9 is a magical number. Now, 9 plus any number, the end number will be one number short. Like 9 plus 4, 4 one number short, 3, see? The end number of 9 plus 4 is 3. 9 plus 6, 6 one number short, 5, see? So, whenever you're adding some uh, digit to 9, so you just think one number less of that number, that will be the end number. Like 9 plus 2, 2 one number is 1. 9 plus 9, 9 one number short is 8. See, it's very easy with 9. So now you will be dealing with the 16 combinations. The other one you will be dealing with 32 combinations, right? Okay, so just finish up the exercises, what we, what we give in this uh, end numbers. Once you have mastered the end numbers, get back to me. I'll show you the application of these end numbers in additions.